Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh To all my beloved students Year 5 Arif VLP And also all students across Malaysia Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dan selamat pagi eh, Kepada semua murid saya Kelas 5 Arif VLP Dan tak lupa semua murid Di seluruh Malaysia Okay, so today we're going to continue our lesson. <coughs> we're going to continue our lesson uh, for mathematics year 5 DLP. Uh, we're still in unit 4, uh, which is time. So today we're going to see subtopic about forward units of time eh, involving decimals. Okay, so today we're going to see about uh, convert units of time eh, involving decimals uh, Hari ini kita nak tengok tentang penukaran unit masa eh, Melibatkan perpuluhan Kalau minggu lepas kita dah tengok Penukaran melibatkan pecahan eh, Nombor pecahan Hari ini kita nak tengok tentang Penukaran melibatkan nombor perpuluhan eh. Caranya masih sama saja okay, Yang berbeza adalah Haa uh, format nombor eh kalau minggu lepas kita tengok tentang format nombor pecahan hari ni kita nak tengok format nombor puluhan ok you can turn to your textbook 134 eh ok <coughs> alright so first of all you have to know about relation eh about relation for each unit awak, kita, awak semua kena tahu Hubungan setiap unit Alright, now we see the first one Okay, hours to minutes So, one So, one hour Equal to 60 Minutes Okay Okay now we see the example in page 134 okay 4.5 hours so we multiply by 60 yeah, so 4.5 multiply by 60 so we will get 270 minutes okay so, we use uh, simple multiplication eh? Eh, involving decimal. Jadi, untuk soalan macam ni, kita darab biasa saja. Eh? Macam mana, seperti yang kita dah pernah belajar sebelum ni, eh? darab melibatkan nombor perpuluhan. Eh? Okay, so we get 270 minutes. So, now which is means 4.5 hours also equal to 200 and 70 minutes jadi sekarang ni bermaksud 4.5 jam juga bersama dengan 270 minit ok, we go to the next page ok 135 ok ok, now days to hours eh? ok, so 1 day Equal to 24 hours. Okay. Okay, let me try question number 2. Okay. 1.75 days. Okay. Equal to how many hours? So, 1.75 multiply by 24 okay so you have to perform the standard return or maybe you want to use lattice also can or you want to use any other methods also can no problem awak sekarang ni kita kena buat bentuk lazim ataupun awak nak gunakan lattice ataupun awak nak gunakan apa juga kaedah eh? boleh so here we 1.75 multiply 24 so 5 times 4 we got 20 
7 times 4, we got 28, plus 2, we got 30. 1 plus 4, we got 4, plus 3, we got 7. So this one, 5 plus 2, we got 10. 7 plus 2, we got 14, plus 1, we got 5. So 15, so 5 out at, uh, <coughs> at bottom, 1 go to top. So 1 times 2, we got 2, plus 1, we got 3. So we plus, so 0, 0, 7 plus, 7 plus 5, we got 12. So 1 plus 3, we got 4. So 1, 2, 1, 2, so we got 42, eh? 42 42.00. So the answer is 42 hours. Eh? Alright, that's all. Two je, senang. Eh? As long as you know the, the, the relation. Eh? Selagi awak tahu apakah hubungan antara hari dan jam, iaitu satu hari bersama dengan lupa jam, maka insyaAllah awak boleh selesaikan soalan macam ni. Eh? Alright, okay, we go to the next page. Okay, you can turn to page 136. Okay. Okay, this one uh, involving years to months. Okay, convert from years to month. So, basically, one year equal to uh, 12 months. Eh? Okay, satu tahun bersama dengan 12 bulan. Okay, we see this example. 29.5 years. So, we multiply by 12. Okay. 29.5 multiply by 12. Okay. So, we do the standard return. Okay. Kalau macam ni, awak abaikan dulu decimal ni dulu. Okay. Kita darab macam biasa. Di akhir jawapan nanti, baru kita letakkan semula jawapan kita berserta decimal point. Di titik perpuluhan ni eh. So, 5 plus 2, we got 10. So, 0. 1 go to top. 9 multiply by 2. We got 18. Plus 1, we got 19. 2 plus 2. Uh, sorry, 2 times 2, we got 4. Plus 1, we got 5. Okay. Okay, next. So, this one all multiply by 1. So, we just copy 5, 9, 2. Okay, the last one we plus, we, we perform addition. So, 0, 5, uh, sorry, 9 plus 5, we got 14. 1 plus 5, we got 6. Plus 9, we got 15. 1 plus 2, we got 3. So, you see here decimal, eh? Okay, this is one place, one place decimal. Okay, satu tempat perpuluhan. So, kat bawah ni pun sama, satu tempat perpuluhan. So, satu titik. So, the answer is 354 months. Eh? If you want to write down 354.0 months, also can. Eh, no problem. Both are accepted. Dua-dua diterima. Eh? <coughs> okay. So, next is about decade to years. Okay, one decade equal to 10 years. Okay, we see this example on page 137. Eh? The first Prime Minister of Malaysia, eh? Tengku Abdul Rahman, is our first uh, first Prime Minister. Okay, so you see there, 1.3 decades. Eh? So we calculate, 1.3 decades will be how many years? Okay, so 1.3 multiplied by 10. So we will get 13. 13 what? 13 years. So, which is means 
uh, our first prime minister Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Hajj or also known as our father of independence eh? he became prime minister for 13 years jadi kat sini bermaksud Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Hajj iaitu kita punya bapa kemerdekaan kita bapa kemerdekaan kita dia menjadi Perdana Menteri yang pertama selama 13 tahun eh? Baik Ok, next We see about centuries to decades eh? As I told you last week One One century Uh, equal to equal to 10 decades uh, or equal to 100 years but, but we'll see about but we take this relation ke? tapi kita tengok yang ini eh, bersama dengan 10 dekad sebab soalan dia nak dalam dekad so Five, okay. We see the first example, five point one centuries. So five 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 point one multiply by ten. So we will get fifty one. Fifty one what? Fifty one decades. Jadi bermaksud lima puluh satu abad bersama dengan 51 dekad eh? Jadi kat sini <coughs> Kota Ifamosa di Melaka ni eh, Dibina pada tahun 1511 eh? Jadi sehingga ke tahun 2021 Dia dah berusia selama 51 dekad Ataupun 510 tahun eh? Ok next we see about centuries to years so just now i have i have mentioned to you one century equal to 100 years okay we see the first <coughs> sorry we we take a look at example number 2 okay about digital camera okay let we calculate Eh? The digital camera eh? 0 0.45 century eh? Equal to We multiply by 100 So we will get 45 years so which is means digital camera eh kamera digital ni dah berusia 45 tahun eh sehingga ke tahun 2021 digital uh, kamera digital ni dah berusia 45 tahun maksudnya 45 tahun yang lepas kamera digital ni dah pun dicipta eh alright very easy okay So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy our lesson. Eh? Actually, this one is a uh, quite basic. Eh? Jadi saya berharap semua dapat ikuti pembelajaran kita pada hari ini. Jadi top uh, sub sub tajuk kita hari ini atau sub topik kita hari ini uh, mudah saja. Eh? Hampir sama dengan apa yang kita dah belajar pada minggu lepas, iaitu pembelajaran unit melibatkan pecahan. Tapi hari ini kita Tengok kepada penukaran unit waktu melibatkan perpuluhan. Tapi kaedahnya masih sama. Jadi semoga berjumpa lagi. So insyaAllah see you again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a nice day.